Okay. New Chris says, Dana, what if you have no deal breakers? Well, if you don't have deal breakers, then your life is probably going to be very tumultuous and it's time to create some deal breakers. Odds are you probably do have deal breakers. You're just not aware of them. Most people do. So whether that might be your deal breakers are, I don't know, being cheated on, being hit, being stolen from, being, you know, yelled at, name called names, those kinds of things. If those, if you, if you've gone through all of that and you're like, you know what, I'm, I've been with this person for a long time and I, I feel like all of my, I don't, maybe I never even had boundaries, but whatever boundaries I did have, have all been eroded and I don't have any deal breakers. And I feel like I don't have any boundaries and I don't know where to start where you can start with that is by taking some time and, and writing the stuff down. You know, what do you want your deal breakers to be? And kind of going from there. And, you know, I've shared this before, but I think it's kind of worth repeating. For me, for a very long time, my deal breakers were abuse, addiction, adultery, or like a bad attitude. Somebody that was constantly negative, trying to drag me down, always telling me I couldn't do stuff, kind of undermining, uh, critical, condescending, just a big drag, you know, create a big crazy making drag. So any of that stuff before was, was deal breaker stuff. I have since tightened up my boundaries and my deal breakers to the point where I don't do perpetual confusion and I don't do crazy making in relationships. So those are the kind of the two added ones. And I don't do anybody that treats me with like disdain, contempt, or hostility. So, and I wish I would have embraced that sooner, but the old me, the old me really thought, you know what? I need to hang or I need to stick around until I basically I'm proven right. It, it didn't feel legitimate to leave based off of being uncomfortable. I felt like I was being too judgmental or I was concerned like, but what if I'm missing out on a really great person? Like, what if it's me? What if it's, you know, no, I'm, it's to the point where if the relationship is bad for your mental health, then it's not worth being in. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, full out level 10 sociopathic crazy in order for you to leave. Like if it's causing you mental anguish and if it's uncomfortable and you don't feel safe around that person, like, like emotionally or physically, then that's not a relationship to be in.